we're not gonna go down without a fight. Laura, General Hospital, weekdays on ABC. And now there's all this evidence against John, and I, and I have known him for years. He's a good friend, and I've trusted him. And could he be a killer? Am I wrong about him, too? I don't even know who to count on anymore. Me. You can count on me. What is this? You have to ask. No, I mean, really, what, what, what is this between us? This is me loving you, Slim. We belong together. God, I'm in the middle of an investigation. Look, I'm not prepared for this. I, I'm not thinking no, straight. you're not thinking. You're feeling. We're both just feeling. What was that? Hello? Looks like an alley cat or something tipped over a trash can. Okay, possibly. Mason? Hey, okay, it sounded like there was somebody back here. Can you go around there and have a look for me? Thanks. I have to get back to work now. Yeah, I know you do, and I'm gonna let you go. I just need to say something first. I didn't plan on falling in love with you. <laughs> You've been through a terrible loss, and I just wanted to be a friend. I just wanted to be somebody you could count on somebody you could confide in you were you were that. but then when you got on your feet it became more than friendship at least for me look we're both very independent people we're both yeah. more than capable of going down this road on our own but right. why should we why shouldn't we take the ride together this is what i'm trying to explain to you i I've lost faith in my own judgment. You know, I can't make these kind of decisions right now. I'm not in any kind of position to do that. Look, I want to fight for us. But I need to know that there's something to fight for. So just be honest. Have I already lost this battle? I can't believe that you're back. Are you OK? Yes. Yes, I'm okay. fine. I saw the doctor before I left, and all my levels are fine. I passed all my tests with flying colors. It just <laughs> when I heard that you were going to make me a grandmother, I just went straight to the airport. And so here I am. <laughs> and look at you, my beautiful girl, so happy. I am happy. I'm so happy. And Dante's happy, and Maxie's showing a little. Oh, a little. really? Yeah. Oh, it's so exciting. I know. I know how much you wanted to have a family, sweetie. Does Lucky know that you're here? No, I don't think he does. Uh, you know, I get a postcard from him every month or so, but he really never got in the habit of checking in by phone. Oh, he didn't visit you in Paris? Uh, no. I, I saw him last year in Ireland, found him sitting in a churchyard of all places. <laughs> How did you know where to find him? It was part detective work and part sort of maternal instinct. Um, but, you know... It was a really, really nice long visit, and we talked about everything under the sun. And we even went back to this little village that your dad and I lived in when Lucky was a little boy. Wow, I'm very happy that he got that time with you. Yeah, I'm happy I had that time with him. And now I get to have time with you, the little mother-to-be. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I just, I feel like I hit the lotto. Both of my parents in the same place at the same time. Mm. Does Dad know that you're here? No, he doesn't. I, I think it's going to be a big surprise for him. I don't want to talk about this right now, right here. Well, that doesn't sound good. That sounds like you're breaking up with me. Oh, we haven't been together for quite some time. Is this because of Lavery? Not the way you mean. Seeing him again has reminded me of what it was like when I was first with him, when we were in love. The intensity, you know? God, I just used to look at him and I couldn't breathe, I couldn't think. And 
I just needed to be near him. That was such a long time of ago. Of course it was, I know, and things might not even work out between him and me. But it just... It's made me feel the way I used to. I want that again. I want to feel that way again if I can. I want to feel that once in a lifetime thing that I had with Duke. Well, the you, you had with Laura. But how's your dad? So exactly the same. Uh, he was shot in a Turkish prison. He's okay. But uh, with stunts like that, I'm not sure I trust him to babysit. You turned out all right. Because of you. Is he seeing anyone? Um, Anna Devane, sort of. Sort of? What do you mean, sort of? I, I don't know where they stand. Why? Now, Laura has her own life in Paris. We've been over for a long time. Yeah, but have you ever felt what you felt with her with anyone else? No, you haven't. It was a remarkable time in my life. Right. But it's over. And it's been over for years. The worst possible thing is to try to recapture the past. Yeah. It poisons the present. Right. And it twists your memories so that you can't even recognize them anymore. Life moves in one direction, Slim, forward. I pride myself on appreciating my past and then letting it go and moving on. I think maybe you and I, we have different expectations for our lives, you know. And isn't it better that we realize it now? You know, don't you think so? So this is goodbye. You helped get me back on my feet after I lost Robin, and I'll never forget that. And I'll always be grateful to you. You don't for have that. to be grateful. Yes, I was happy I do. to do it. I was happy to just to be near you. You are an amazing woman. Oh God. No, I'm not. Anyway, can we? Sure. Yeah. We'll always have the Metro Corp. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite Paris. I just want our family to be happy, that's all. And if Anna makes your dad happy, Lulu, then... we need to talk. I'm sorry to interrupt. I... Um, can we do this later? My, my mother and I are catching up. You're Laura? Yes. Hi. And you are? Hi. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm Star Manning. I know that that was very rude, but I... My late fiancé read me this story about poor Charles, something about a left-handed boy and freezing the town, and uh, Luke and Laura... You're a legend. Uh, you were star-crossed lovers. Yes, we were. We still are. Um, sorry, can we do talk later? It's... I mean, you know what? Why don't you two talk now? Because I really need to unpack and I need to get some sleep. Okay, well, you're staying at the Metro Court. Okay. I will call you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Yay, I love you. I'm so happy to see you. Oh, me too, Anna. <laughs> me too. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sorry about that.
Hey, it's me. Yeah, I'm in Port Charles. <laughs> yeah, I did see Luke. And I think we should go ahead with our plans. Hey, hey there you are. Sorry. It's okay. Hey. Um, Michael told me about Todd getting arrested. Oh, yeah, he was found on Pier 52 with Danny Morgan. Danny? Yeah, kid's fine, no, not a scratch on him, but Todd had some crazy story he was spouting off about it. Anyway, the kid is safe, he's home with his mother, and that's all that matters. Let's talk about something else, huh? Yeah, let's talk about surprises. Surprises? Mm -hmm. What surprises, like, oh, I'm in come mind, on, general, don't play dumb. You huh? always surprise me on Valentine's Day. So, what is it? Uh, hey, Lulu. <laughs> um, surprise. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh. Come in, come in. Thank this you. is such a surprise. I didn't know you were in town. Well, nobody does. Except Lulu. Oh. It just wasn't exactly planned. I just couldn't stay away any longer, that's all. I wanted to see my grandson. Cameron. This is your daddy's mommy. Do you remember her? Yes. Oh, you do? Oh, my goodness, I am so, so glad. And that must be Aiden. Hello, honey. <laughs> Aiden, I am your grandmother, and I brought you some presents. <gasps> presents? Want to see what I've got? That's Aiden, for you, my dear. Did you hear that? She has presents for you. That's Aww, for you, little thank brother. Thank you. That's for Aiden, you, Aiden. Cameron, why don't you go um, take your brother to the couch, and you guys can open them, Aiden, okay? Go open our presents. Come on, Aiden. Oh, thank you so mm -hmm. much. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> they're just adorable. And they're so big. I know. Oh, you know, Aiden looks just like Lucky did at this age. Do you ever hear from him? Uh, not very often, no. I think he he's still finding himself. Mm. Well, I hope he succeeds. Yeah. So good to see you. And you look amazing. <laughs> oh, why, thank you. And you, my dear, more beautiful than ever. Oh, please, can you stay for a while? Can I take your jacket? It, sure, that would be great, if if you don't mind. Oh, I'd love for you, too. Okay, just a little. Thank you. Oh, they're going to open them up. Good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um... I hope you don't mind my asking. I was just wondering if, uh, if there's anybody new in your life. Oh, no. <laughs> no. no. Oh, there was this one guy, and it was a train wreck, and then another, but the timing wasn't right. I, I guess I just don't have a very good track record when it comes to romance. I'm sorry, honey. No. Oh, don't be sorry. It's not like I'm looking. And I'd rather focus on my, my real true loves. I got. Oh, look what you got. <laughs> yes, and you are so lucky to have them, aren't you? Yeah. That was Elizabeth. But Elizabeth. Right you're a very young lady, you know? I know that love is the toughest thing to get right, but when you do, it just sort of makes everything else better. So have you seen Luke yet? Yes, I've seen him, but he didn't see me. He was a little bit busy kissing Anna Devane. Ah, delicious. Mm. Thank you. Thank you for the presents. That, it's so, they're perfect and generous. I, I, oh, they're just at such fun ages. I couldn't resist picking out a few little things. Well, that puzzle's going to keep him busy forever, mm. which is a good thing because I wanted to ask you how to make you feel when you saw Luke kissing Anna. Uh, you know, if, if Luke is happy, then I'm happy for him. That was enthusiastic. Do you know, Elizabeth, that, that Luke and I were over a long time ago? And I guess it was just pretty obvious that he has moved on. Have you? I know. And don't worry, I have not given up on Laura. What did you say? I said I haven't given up on Lauren. 
I'm going to find her for no, you. No, 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 no. That's not what you said. You said you haven't given up on Laura. Excuse me, your Freudian slip is showing. Oh, I did not. And even if I did, that's not a Freudian slip. That's just a slip of the tongue, a mistake. Uh-huh. You know what Freud says about mistakes? There are none. Just because the man had a beard doesn't mean he was right about everything. Why are you pining after Laura? I'm not pining. Anna just threw her in my face when she dumped me last night. Excuse me? When I rushed over there to see if Anna was okay, she kicked me to the curb. Hmm. Because of Laura? <sighs> Anna said that ours is not a great love. Like hers is with Duke and mine is with... Maybe she's right. I'm sorry. Forget I said that. I, I should not have asked if you moved on. I realize that is incredibly personal and... and it's okay. Out of my business. It's okay, really. It's okay. Take a deep breath. Okay. Let it go. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Actually, um... Can I tell you something? Yes, Come please. Um, I hope it's okay to stop by. I was kind of hoping we could talk. I, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't realize you had company. Laura? Uh -oh. <laughs> AJ Quartermain. Wow, it has been a long time since we've seen each other. I, yes, I know. It's good to see you looking so well. Boys, uh, if you'll excuse me, uh, Grandma has to go now, so can I have a hug? Bye bye. Oh, oh I'm sorry. it's so good to, to see you. I didn't bye -bye. Run you off. Thank you for this. You're welcome, dear. You're so welcome. Oh, well, it's really nice to see you again. You too. <laughs> Hmm. Guys, you want to let me play? Hey. Thank you so much for coming over. Oh, God, it's so good to see you. It's good to see you too, honey. And listen, I know you think that you want to be alone right now, but don't give up on love. Trust me. Dante, you shouldn't have. Uh, I, I didn't. You didn't give this to me? Uh, have you met me? Why would I give you a... Uh, I mean, what, what the hell is that? Your guess is as good as mine. A black rod on a stick. Maybe it's art. Well, it ain't speaking to me. I wonder who sent it. Who do you know with bad taste? Ah, uh, <laughs> is there a card? Well, all I saw is the... Two later. What did you get for Valentine's Day? Champagne, roses, chocolate? I got a rock on a stick. All right, look, the night is still young. Why don't we get out of here on the way home? We'll chuck that thing in the river, and uh, maybe, just maybe, there might be some surprises waiting for you there. Oh, well, then I think I'll go talk to Star. Then. Hey, do you feel comfortable shutting down tonight because I have been here every single night ever since Johnny was arrested and I really, really would like some alone time with Dante. Yeah, okay. Oh, gosh, yeah. Okay. Michael's here with me so he can help. Awesome. Just call me if you have any problems, okay? Uh -huh. Thank you so oh, much. No problem. Happy Valentine's yeah, Day. Yeah, you guys too. Happy Bye. Valentine's yeah. Day. Thank Bye. you, little brother. <laughs> playing tricks on me. <laughs> well, wouldn't be the first time, would it? trouble then I sure was are you in trouble now I'm fine I just came to see our daughter because I heard that we were gonna be grandparents again oh yes I guess we are yeah <laughs> <laughs> well she's inside if you want to speak to her I've seen her already and you yesterday 
on the pier. Why didn't you say something? You were a little busy. You were with Anna Devane. You heard from Lucky. Well, we had a wonderful long visit together last year in Ireland, but since then, um, I get a postcard every once in a while. Seems to be traveling an awful lot. Well, he's in love with the open road. Yeah. Wonder where he gets that. Dad. Mom, you guys found each other. Yes, we did. Happy Valentine's yeah. Day. Thank hey, you. Laura, great to see you. Good, talk, Good to see you. You too, look Mom. terrific. Thank you. I uh, guess you've heard you heard about the baby and everything. Oh yes, yes. You're going to be a wonderful father. Thank you. And with you and my beautiful daughter as a mother. Not to mention the great grandparents. <laughs> yes. And that baby is truly blessed. Uh, well, if you need anything, um, Star will help you guys because we're trying to sneak away while we still can. Yes, before your secret admirer finds you. Yeah, I have a secret admirer. He has such great taste. He uh, got me that! Wow. Where'd you get that? Uh, we don't know. Someone just left it for her. Why? We've seen this before. What is it? It looks like the original Ice Princess. I thought the Ice Princess was a diamond. This looks like a burnt cake pop. <laughs> well, honey, before a diamond is cut and polished, it looks just like an ordinary rock. When the Ice Princess first surfaced, it looked like that. It was uncut. Nobody knew what was underneath. Lulu, are you sure this was meant for you? Yeah, that's what the note said. Here, take a look. Let's see you sent it. Well, there can only be so many possibilities, right? She'd have to get her hands on it first. Who's she? Well, your mother and I had so many enemies in those days, it's kind of useless to speculate. Sure, but you two obviously have a pretty good idea who it might be. Helena. Cassidine. Do you think Helena Cassidine sent me this? Seriously? Well, I can't be sure. But she was always obsessed with the Ice Princess. So the note says, saw this and thought of you. Why, why would Helena be thinking about Lulu? I don't know. She used it to control Lucky. Well, if she thinks that she can control me with this, she's out of her mind. Well, you're right there. She's always been a couple of aces short of a full deck. The last time I saw the Ice Princess, it was tucked away safely in a vault in Zurich. Oh, see there? Like I said, she's crazy. She's nuts. She's not without some smarts. So there's no way that Helena has this diamond? Well, the last time I saw it, it was in Switzerland. But I suppose she could have gotten uh, her hands on it. But what is she trying to say to Lulu? Well, we're not going to figure this out tonight, and it's getting late, so we're going to head home. But you two have fun? Yeah. Do me a favor, keep your eyes open. Hey, this one is safe with me. Of course she is. Happy Valentine's Day. Yes, happy Valentine's Thank Day. You. Happy Valentine's Day to you, too. Thanks.